Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will show you how to create invoices and accept payments on those invoices. On the description box of this video is a link showing you how to add default expenses to choose from at the moment of creating an invoice. This video will show you how to create invoices with expenses already created in the admin tools page. Also, you must be signed up to the optional module billing. Let us log into the caseworker portal. In order to create invoices, you must have a case profile established. Let us go and search for a case profile. Once inside the case profile, you will go to the billing tab. You will see two options, expenses and invoices. We will first want to locate the expenses that will generate into the invoice. Let us click on expenses and charges. You will then click on Add Expenses. By default, it will list expenses set for the type of case you are doing. You can also select the drop down menu and select No Process. It will then list all your billing items. These can be set in the Admin Tools page, and a link is provided in the description area of this video showing you how. You will now go and select the expenses that apply by clicking on the check boxes. Once you have your expenses set, you will click on Add Expenses. You will see the expenses listed from there, and you can modify the expenses if needed by clicking on the edit box next to each expense. You can then change the quantity, the rate, and so on. Now that we have our expenses set, we can now go into the Invoices tab to make an invoice out of these expenses. You will click on Add Invoices. You will see your expenses listed that we just set. You will now select the client you wish to charge, it will list the client's tag to this case. Then, you will check which expenses you want to charge to this client, either some or all. You will select the default invoice template. Lastly, you will determine if you want to force your users to accept one type of payment. If you accept multiple types of payments, you will not make a selection here and click on Add. You will not be brought into the invoice. You can modify things here such as add a due date, change descriptions, or even change the notes at the bottom of the invoice. Once you have everything set, including having a due date, you will click on Save and exit this invoice. Your invoice has now been created. If you ever need to access this invoice, you can either do so by either searching for this case profile in which you created the invoice, or you may also go into the client's profile and see the invoice there. If you wish to send this as an email to the client, you can click on the checkbox to the left and click on Email. An email template will appear. You can also set up a payment plan and have the software automatically email for you. If you click on the calendar icon, a pop-up will appear. You will set the first due date, the recurrence, the installment amount, and check for the client to receive automatic emails. You can even dictate how far in advance they get these emails. The software will now be in charge of sending those emails accordingly. If you also have the optional module credit card processing, you can go a step further and save payment card info in the client's profile and schedule monthly payments here. This will be discussed more in detail in the credit card processing optional module video. Once your client is ready to make a payment, they can contact you and you can come to this invoice and click on the dollar amount icon. You have a variety of options to choose from in the type such as cash, check, or other. If you have the option of module credit card processing, you may also input credit card info. By doing so, not only will it process here, but also with your LawPay or PayPal account that you have linked. To link it, you must be signed up to that option of module, credit card processing, and you must do it in the admin tools page for it to appear here. Once you've selected your type, the amount, add a reference, and add the payment date, you can click on Add Payment. The invoice will now show it has been paid. If you go to the second page of the invoice, it will now show a payment has been applied as well as a date. Besides adding payments in the case profile, you can also do this from the home page by hovering over the Create button and selecting Process Payment. You will be asked to locate the invoice number. You can then input your payment info, which will reflect on the invoice once processed. You can access created invoice in their client profiles as well specifically the billing section. Additionally, if you have the optional module credit card processing, your clients can go into the client portal and make a payment on there. 
Once logged in, they will see the Invoices tab and click on it. They will see the invoice with the option to pay, as well as the option to view the invoice. When clicking the dollar amount, they will now see the option to insert credit card info. Once applied here, it will reflect on their invoice through the client portal, through your caseworker portal, and also the payment will appear on either your PayPal or LawPay account. If you ever need to refund an amount, you can go to your invoices and select the reverse payment button. From here, you can choose to void an amount or to refund. Once you make the selection, you will enter the amount, add a reference if needed, and lastly select the date. You will select void payment or refund payment at the bottom, and the invoice has been updated. The void or refund transaction will show on the second page of the invoice, and it will show on the paid section of your invoices. If you click on the paid amount, it will bring you to a new page showing you the transaction history of this invoice. The last thing to show you here is applying trust accounts, and then applying those funds onto invoices. To add funds into a trust account, you can do so in the client's profile. Once inside the profile, go to the billing section, and you will see the trust account appear. Click on that tab. You will then click on Add Transaction. You will select Credit and then apply the amount. You can enter a description if you'd like. You will click on Save. If having the optional module credit card processing, you can even pay with the credit card here. Once applying the payment, it will save in the trust account as well as the account you have saved on LawPay. Once you have the funds added here, you can go into the invoice either here in the client profile or in the case profile. You can add a payment by clicking on the dollar amount. You can then choose trust account. The balance will be listed and proceed to enter the amount you wish to charge. Once processed, if you go back to the trust account in the client's profile, you will see the new balance as well as where the payments have been applied. This concludes our video on billing. Thank you for watching.